So we're going to get started today in an easy seat, right foot in front of left. Shutting the eyes down here and letting whatever happened today drift away from you. If you're following along with the playlist, you can go ahead and press start. Letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears as the crown of your head lifts towards the ceiling. If you're looking for more of a grounding practice today, you have the option to place both palms on top of the knees. If you're ready to receive all this beautiful energy, go ahead and plant the palms towards the ceiling. If you're ready to look within an introspective practice, place one palm on heart center and the other palm underneath the low belly, feeling your prana, feeling that energy within yourself. Shutting the eyes down here and settling into your breath. Noticing the natural cadence of that breath, how it makes your belly rise and fall. I invite you to set an intention for today's practice, whether that's something or someone that inspires you. Maybe it's a simple word or maybe it's a memory that makes you smile inside. Sharing with you, my mantra today has been all about being perfectly imperfect. I am perfect in my imperfections, happy in my pain, and strong in my weakness. Remembering that this is a yoga practice, not a yoga perfection. This is all about progress, not perfection. So how can we let those inhibitions go, letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears and the crown of your head lifts? Starting to bring awareness to our breath, full belly breath, fill the belly, fill the lungs, let the collarbone expand, holding the breath at the top of the throat. Opening the mouth, audible exhale, let something go. Ha! Letting your day go, inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs, let the chest rise, holding the breath at the top of the throat. Opening the mouth, audible exhale, let that go, ha. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. With the very same intensity, we're sealing the lips and letting the heat escape through both nostrils. Starting to create a slight constriction in the back of your throat, dialing into your ujjayi pranayama, or your victorious breath. In this victorious breath, the oceanic sounds that roll in and out of the body help build heat. Always having the option to let it go by simply opening the mouth and exhaling through the mouth as we just did. If your mind has wandered, it's natural, no worries. See if you can bring your awareness back to your breath and your body. Starting to blink the eyes open here, maybe a slight gaze towards the nose, bringing both palms onto the knees and then starting to roll our neck from side to side. Inviting those semicircles here and then maybe growing bigger with larger circles. Moving clockwise. And then switching the direction to counterclockwise. On the next inhale, raise the palms high to the sky, gazes in between the thumbs. Exhale, paint a wall in front of you, reaching forward, sending your chest towards the earth. Can you simultaneously ground down in your sits bones and push the earth away from you? Inhale, walk the palms all the way up. Left palm comes in front of the right knee, and then right palm comes behind you on the earth as a tail or a kickstand. Sending your gaze behind the right shoulder blade, taking one big inhale here. Fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, can you twist a little bit deeper? Twisting from the core versus from the neck. One more inhale here. Exhale, coming back through center. Bringing both palms behind you, pointing towards the glutes. Grounding the palms into the earth and then lifting the chest high to the sky, finding a mini back bend here. Gazes to the ceiling, you should feel an activation in the top of your shoulder blades. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. 
Bringing the right palm on top of the left knee and sending the left palm behind to create a little kickstand behind the tailbone. Inhale, sending the gaze behind the left shoulder. Take one big belly breath in. Exhale, can you twist a little bit deeper, sending the gaze behind the left shoulder. Seeing if you can twist from the core versus twisting from the neck. One more breath here. Exhale, coming back through center, switching the grips, left foot in front of right. And then inhale, left palm comes in front or on top of the right knee. And then sending that gaze back one more time for that twist on the opposite side. Can you inhale, lift from the core, lift from the chest. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, coming back through center. Exhale, planting both palms towards the earth. Our fingertips are facing our glutes. Grounding down, gaze as high to the sky, sending a mini back bend on towards the ceiling. Finding a slight um, rotation from your shoulder blades. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release the glutes. Bringing the right palm towards the left knee and then sending that gaze behind you for that twisted stretch. Can you ground this left palm into the earth, lift the chest high, and then exhale, send the gaze farther back, twisting from the core versus from the neck. Inhale, coming back through center, root to rise, reach all the way up. And then exhale, sending the palms down to the earth, sending the chest as well. Can you push the earth away from you here, sending the gaze towards the floor, and then pushing your sits bones towards the earth. Walking the palms towards the body and then bringing both palms on the outside of the thighs, slowly closing our knees like a book. Coming into an L shape here. So active in the legs that our heels should lift off the earth. Dorsi flexing the toes towards the shins. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, bring that imaginary beach ball out in front of us. Slow and controlled, grounding down, using the core strength, finding our shoulder blades to meet the earth. Can you take your time here? Can you count all 33 vertebrae really activating in that core? Challenging yourself here, taking your time, remembering to breathe, giving yourself a little smile. And then slow and controlled, seeing if you can take a little bit longer, sending the shoulder blades towards the earth. Bringing both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze, and then starting to create low back circles. First moving clockwise, giving the low back some love, and then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, both heels raise high to the sky, creating that very same L shape, but inverted. Our toes are dorsiflex towards the fins, option to keep the shoulder blades on the earth or option to up level here, lifting the shoulder blades off the earth, reaching past those thighs. Activating in the core here, holding in stillness for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Can you lift the chest a little bit higher off the earth, engaging your core? Five, four, three, two, one. Knees into the chest, start to create those low circles. Being fluid in your movement and in your breath. Inhale, both heels raise high to the sky, creating that L shape here. Option to leave the shoulders off the earth or option to up level by lifting them up, reaching past those thighs. We're pulsing here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Lift the shoulder blades a little bit higher, engage in the core, squeeze, 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 three, Two, one, knees into the chest, roll back and forth, creating those low back circles. We're activating in the core here one last time. You got this, yogis, lift the heels to that L shape. Dorsi flex in those fins, inhale, lift the shoulder blades off the earth, bring the palms behind the neck. Can you lift from the core versus from the neck? Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, one quarter of the way down, we send the heels. Squeezing those thighs together here as if there's a block in between the thighs. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, heels come two inches off the earth, bringing the elbows in towards the thighs. Inviting those shakes into our practice means we're getting stronger. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. 
We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. You got this, yogis. 2, 1. Knees into the chest. Ah, let something go. Start to create those low back circles. We're switching the momentum here, starting to grab behind the thighs and then rolling rock and roll up and down parallel to the spine. Creating so much momentum here that we cross at the ankles and meet in a neutral tabletop at the top of our mats. In this neutral tabletop pose, our wrists are directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees underneath the hips. We untuck those toes, drop the belly low, gaze as high to the sky, bolstering your heart towards the stars, cow pose. Exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gaze as to the navel, cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly low, bolster your heart high, send the tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, ground down into the palms, protract in the shoulder blades, gaze as to the navel, cat pose. One more cat cow, drop the belly low, gaze as high to the sky. Exhale, round the spine, protract the shoulder blades, gaze as to the navel. Inhale, coming back to neutral. Bringing the left palm to trace the right, lifting all the way up, finding an opening in the chest. Maybe you choose to create a little bit of a bend here, goal posting the arms, finding a heart opening. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, left palm threads underneath the right, bringing the left shoulder blade towards the earth. If this is enough for you, you can always stay in the shoulder stretch. If you're looking for a little bit more, bring the right palm behind you to create a little bind in between the thigh and hip. Maybe you bring the right foot high to the sky, starting to create balance here on your mat. Grounding down into the top of the left palm and engaging in the core, maybe dorsiflexing in the fins to find stability in your foundation. The beauty about this pose is if you fall out, no big deal, you're so close to the ground, so give it a try. One more inhale here, fill the belly. Exhale, left foot comes down to the earth, slow and controlled. Right palm comes in front of the face, left palm lifts high to the sky, finding that counter stretch. Exhale, left palm meets the right, drop the belly low, one cat cow to reset, open up in the chest. Exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gaze as to the navel. Inhale, coming back to neutral, taking a look at our architectural lines, making sure that they're in place. Wrist directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees underneath the hips. Right palm traces, the left palm lifting up in the chest. Maybe you goalpost in the arms here, finding a little opening in the heart. Coming back to neutral. And then right palm comes underneath to thread under the left shoulder, bringing the right shoulder towards the earth. Once again, if you're here for that shoulder stretch and this is enough, you can always stay. If you're looking for a little bit more, bring the left palm to create a little bind in between the thigh and hip. And then slow and controlled, Left foot starts to raise high to the sky. Dorsiflex in your fins, push down against the top portion of the right palm. Activating in the core, take one big belly breath. You got this, yogis. Exhale, left foot starts to come down to the earth. Left palm in front of the face for that counter stretch. Reaching the right palm high to the sky, finding an opening. And then exhale, back to neutral tabletop. In this neutral tabletop, one cat cow to reset, drop the belly low and gaze as high. And then exhale, round down into the palms, round the spine. Coming back to neutral tabletop here, taking a self adjustment with your alignment, and then tucking the toes. We're rising two inches off the earth in this lifted tabletop. Taking a look at this lifted tabletop, push the earth away from you, gazes in between the palms. You should feel the line of energy from palm to shoulder, having a slight protraction in the shoulder blades. We're holding here for 10, nine, eight. If this is enough for you, you can stay. If you'd like to advance, you can go ahead and do some cat cows with lifted knees. Five, four, you got this yogis. Three, two, one, lifting the hips high to the sky, sending the heels towards the earth. Finding Agha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. 
creating this inverted V shape with our body, our feet, our hips width distance apart. Our palms are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. We're sending our chest towards the thighs, sending the gaze in between the ankles. We're elongating the neck. Inhale, fill the belly, find expansion through the lungs. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift both heels, hide the sky. Exhale, sink them deep into the earth. Maybe finding a slight bend in the knees if your hamstrings are tight. Gaze is in between the palms. We look, step, jump, or hop to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana, creating a number seven with our spine. Shoulder blades tuck into the back wall as the crown of our head lifts forward. As if you have a favorite plate of food on your back, trying not to spill. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, reaching with intention, gazes in between the palms. Maybe you take a slight back bend here, tucking the tailbone in, gazes behind you. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana, exhale, plant the palms, and then move into your high plank. In this high plank, sending the tailbone to slightly tuck, protracting in the shoulder blades, pushing the earth away from you, tucking the elbows into the ribs and slowly lowering down, Chaturanga Dandasana. We're creating a right angle with our forearm and tricep. Can you inhale, take one big breath here. Exhale, push the earth away from you, finding your high plank. Taking one breath here, inhale, fill up. Exhale, tuck the elbows into the ribs, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Inhale one more time, yogis. You got this. Push the earth away from you. Exhale, coming all the way down to our bellies, finding Bhujangasana, low cobra. I'm tucking the toes, sending the crown of your head to lift forward, pushing the shoelace portion of your toes into the earth. Maybe you test your balance here, bringing both palms off the earth, sending the elbows to magnetize towards one another, activating in your back body. Taking one big inhale here, can you lift the chest a little bit higher? Exhale, plant the palms into the earth, tucking the toes, finding Adva Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Taking this opportunity to walk your dog out, generously bending in both knees, starting to create a little bit of fluidity in your practice. Gaze is in between the palms, we look, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Facing dog, arc the chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog, rolling over those toes. Taking one breath to reset here. Inhale, lift both heels high to the sky. Exhale, can you sink the heels a little bit lower? Inhale, gazes in between the palms. We look, step, walk, jump, or hop to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, reaching with intention, grabbing the left wrist. Active listening, we're sending ourselves over towards the right side, spiraling our chest towards the ceiling, feeling expansion in this left lung. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, can you sink a little bit deeper? Inhale through center. Exhale, grabbing the right wrist, moving over towards the left side. Spiraling your heart and chest towards the ceiling. Take one big expansive breath in. Exhale, can you sink a little bit deeper? Inhale through center. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, high to low plank, you flow, you grow. Tucking the elbows into the ribs, lowering down, upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Can you ground down in the shoelace portion of the tops of your feet? Pushing the earth away from you here, letting the shoulders melt away from the ears. Maybe the chest and chin slightly tilt down, rolling over the toes, down. Exhale, stick that tongue out, let something go. Ha! <sighs> Inhale, right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. 
Option to point the toe here, or maybe you square the hips internal rotation towards the mat. Bending at the knee and starting to draw circles here. Moving clockwise. And then switching the direction to counterclockwise, getting juicy in this right hip. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to nose, pound the spine, crunch it in, shoulders over wrists, hold. Take one big inhale here. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, nose to knee, round the spine, crunch it in. Exhale, three-legged dog. One more time, yogis, nose to knee, round the spine, crunch it in, activate the core. Plant the right foot in between the palms. We're dropping that left knee towards the earth and then opening up here for a modified easy twist. Can you take one breath here? And then exhale, we're bringing the right foot all the way back, finding a modified half moon pose. In this modified half moon, option to stay opening in the chest or option to up level here by bringing the foot to rise high. Knee to elbow, crunch it in. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, knee to elbow, crunch it in. Reach forward. Using those obliques one more time, knee to elbow, crunch it in. Exhale, reach all the way forward, bringing both palms to the earth. Our right foot is lifted behind us, dorsiflexing the fins, pointing towards the earth. Tucking the elbows into the ribs here, and then tucking this left toe on the back of your mat. Active listening, we're coming in for a modified push-up, sending our chin towards the earth, letting our foot lift up. And then exhale, rising back up. Finding your high plank and then finishing your vinyasa. Tucking the elbows into the ribs, lowering down, always having the option to skip your vinyasa if you like. And then exhale, big toes come together to touch. Knees jet out in opposite directions, sending the chest towards the earth. Coming back to that intention that you set in the beginning of class, Control the breath, control the mind. Inhale, big belly breath. Exhale, release what no longer serves you. Inhale, planting the palms, walking them close to the body, and then finding your downward facing dog or inverted V shape. In this downward facing dog, bringing both toes together and heels together as well. Pushing the earth away from you, sending the chest towards the thighs. Take one big inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg lifts high to the sky, three-legged dog. Option to point the toe or option to dorsiflex in the fins, finding a slight inner rotation, squaring off the hips. Bending at the knee and then starting to create these generous circles here. First moving clockwise. And then moving counterclockwise. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, shoulders over wrists. Three like a dog. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, maybe the knee touches the nose. Exhale, three like a dog. One more time, knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, maybe you make a connection. Exhale, three like a dog. And then left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the left foot in between the palms. Grounding the right knee towards the earth, untucking the toes, and then lifting the left palm high to the sky, finding a modified easy twist. From this easy twist, we're grounding down into the right palm, and then sliding the left foot all the way back, finding a modified half moon. Option to stay in this modified half moon or option to up level here by bringing the elbows towards the knees, crunch it in, reaching forward. Exhale, knee to elbow, engage those obliques, reach forward. Last one, knee to elbow, really crunch it in. Exhale, reach forward. Coming into that tabletop, left palm comes to meet the right, tucking the right toes here and then lifting the left toes off the earth. Dorsi flexing in the fins, tucking the elbows into the ribs. We're lowering our chin towards the earth. And then exhale, pushing the palms away from us. Finding that high plank, finishing your vinyasa. High to low, tuck the elbows into the ribs. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. 
Exhale, big toes come together to touch. Child's pose. Taking this time to come back to that intention that you set in the beginning of class. One inhale here. Exhale, walking the palms close to the body, finding your downward facing dog. Taking one breath to reset, inhale, both heels lift high to the sky. Exhale, sink them deep into the earth. Inhale, right leg lifts high to the sky, three like a dog. Starting to draw circles with the right knee, first will be clockwise, and then counterclockwise. Inhale, right foot high to the sky. We're scorpion tailing right heel towards left glute. If the right armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you take this opportunity to square it off towards your mat? Grounding down evenly into both palms. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to nose. Round the spine, crunch it in. Shoulders over wrists. Hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Make a connection. Hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow, cross body, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the foot in between the palms. We're pivoting that back leg to 45 degrees and then rising up for our warrior one, your Vajrasana one. In this warrior one, we're creating a right angle with this right knee. Our back foot is pivoted to 45 degrees. Our drishti, or gaze, is in between the palms, letting the shoulder blades melt away from the earth. Can you find stillness in this pose? Taking one big breath here. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. One more breath, yogis. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, pivoting that back foot, opening up to warrior two. In this warrior two, our hips are square towards the left side. Our drishti, or gaze, is in between the right fingertips. Letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears. Reaching for something you desire and committing to the bend in the front knee, finding your peaceful warrior. From this peaceful warrior, we're straightening in both legs and then moving into our Trikonasana triangle pose. In Trikonasana triangle pose, as if your body's in two panes of glass, Try not to dump all the weight into this right palm. Maybe you bring it towards the shin to lift the chest and open up a little bit wider. Sending your gaze towards your left fingertips here. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. You got this, yogis. One more breath. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, coming all the way back. Reverse trigonasana, straightening in both legs. And then exhale, cartwheeling the palms to frame the right foot. Pivoting both toes and shortening our stance, finding our pyramid pose. Sending the chest high to the sky and then surrendering the heart down, finding a flat back. Getting juicy in this right hamstring in this pyramid pose. Maybe you bring the feet together for a little bit more. If this is enough for you, you can stay and explore in this hamstring. If you're with me, I'm coming into Flamingo Pose by bringing both palms behind me to face the back of my mat, slightly stepping in towards my right foot, and then seeing if my left toes can simply peek off the earth, sending my gaze towards my shin, taking one big inhale here. Exhale, release. One more breath, yogis, you got this. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release the flamingo pose. Bringing both palms to frame the right foot and then lifting the left toes high to the sky, finding your standing split. In this standing split, you have an option for your handstand hops if inversions are in your practice. If you're with me, I'm tenting at my fingertips, lifting my chest, and then sending my knee towards my ankle, lifting up. Exhale, left foot lifts high to the sky, standing split. Exhale, left knee to right ankle, open up the chest. Back to standing split. Last one, yogis, left knee to right ankle, open up the chest. You got this. Exhale, plant the palms high to the sky, standing split, left leg high to the sky. And then left foot comes towards the right, grabbing opposite elbows, finding your ragdoll pose. Generously bending in both knees here, letting the chest kiss the thighs. 
Finding a decompression in the neck and spine, letting gravity do its work by simply moving back and forth. We're going to run through one lion's breath in this pose. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, stick that tongue out, let something go. Ha! One more breath, yogis. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. Grounding both palms into the earth. And then stepping back, finding your high plank. Tucking the elbows into the ribs, lowering down. Upward facing dog, arcing the chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog, rolling over the toes, finding that inverted V-shape. Taking one breath to reset in this down dog. Inhale, both heels lift high to the sky. Exhale, can you sink them a little bit deeper? Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, starting to draw circles with the left knee, moving clockwise. And then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Really getting juicy in this left hip here. Left foot lifts high to the sky. Exhale, scorpion tail, the left heel towards right glute. If the left armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you square it off towards your mat? Grounding evenly into both palms here, taking one breath. Exhale, three-legged dog. Taking one inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, shoulders over wrists. Three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, make a connection, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow, cross body, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the left foot in between the palms. We're pivoting that right foot to 45 degrees and then rising up, finding Virabhadrasana, warrior one, on the opposite side. Taking a look here at our alignment, creating a right angle with this left knee. Our back foot is pivoted to 45 degrees. So what that means is if there was a laser shooting out of the left heel, it should bisect the right. Inhale, gaze is in between the palms let the shoulder blades melt away from the ear. You got this, yogis. Take one more big breath. Control the breath. Control the mind. Exhale, opening up, pivoting that back foot, and then finding that warrior two on the opposite side. In warrior two, our hips are square towards the right. Our drishti, or gaze, is in between the left fingertips, letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears. Inhale, reaching for something you desire. Exhale, committing to that bend in the front knee, finding peaceful warrior. And then straightening in both legs here, reaching all the way forward, and then transitioning into Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Maybe having to shorten that stance in that Trikonasana, no worries. Trying not to dump all the weight into this left palm, maybe you push the left shin away from you, sending your gaze towards the right fingers. As if you're a perfect piece of toast in a toaster, can you slightly tuck that tailbone in? Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. You got this, yogis. One more breath. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. Inhale, reverse trikonasana, straightening in both legs, reaching behind you. And then exhale, cartwheeling the palms to frame the left foot. Pivoting both toes towards the front, shortening the stance, and then finding your pyramid pose. Here in this pyramid pose, getting juicy in this left hamstring. Maybe you stay here activating in the hamstring, or maybe you come with me for flamingo. Bringing both fingertips to face the back of your mat, and then slightly coming onto the right toes, sending the gaze towards the left shin, and then seeing if you can slightly lift the right toes off the earth. A deep hamstring stretch here. Take one big inhale. Exhale, release. One more breath, yogis. You got this. If you're in flamingo pose, take one big inhale here. Exhale, plant the right foot towards the earth, bringing both palms to frame the left foot. And then lifting the right foot all the way back up, finding your standing split. Can you find a slight inner rotation, sending the hip towards the earth to square it off? If handstand hops are in your practice, you're more than welcome to play. 
If you're with me, I'm coming down for three Shiva squats, tenting at my fingertips or bringing them into heart center for an additional challenge. Right knee comes towards left ankle, open up the chest. Exhale, standing split. Right knee to left ankle, open up for two. Exhale, standing split. Last one, yogis, you got this. Right knee to left ankle, open up the chest. Exhale, plant the palms, standing split. Right foot comes to meet the left, grabbing opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. In this ragdoll pose, letting the head hang heavy, moving from side to side, finding that decompression in your neck and spine. Here in this ragdoll pose, we're moving our feet to have a slight inner rotation. So our big toes come together to touch. We might have a gap in between the heels. Inhale, bending at the knees, rising up, Utkatasana chair pose. Just like life yogis, when things get tough, we stay up. Ground down into both feet as if you're trying to rip your mat in two. Feel the outer rotation of your glutes turn on. Gaze is in between the palms of the shoulder blades melt. Slightly tuck the tailbone in, finding the natural curvature of the spine. Taking one inhale here, you got this. Exhale, sink two inches lower. One more breath, inhale, fill up. Exhale, forward fold, planting the palms, choosing to find your vinyasa. High to low plank, tuck the elbows into the ribs, lower down. Upward facing dog, pulling the chest through. Exhale, big toes come to touch, knees jet out in opposite direction. Child's pose. Taking a moment to towel off, grab any water if you like. Can you come back to your breath? Can you come back to that intention that you set in the beginning of class? Maybe bringing your third eye to the earth and then massaging it, moving it from side to side. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release something that no longer serves you. Inhale, walking the palms close to the body and then finding that inverted V shape, downward facing dog. In this inverted V shape, checking in with our alignment, feet are hips width distance apart. Palms are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance, sending the chest towards the thighs, gaze in between the ankles. Inhale, bringing both feet together to touch at the back of your mat first. And then right foot lifts high to the sky, three-legged dog. Starting to draw circles with that right knee. And then switching the direction here. Inhale, three-legged dog, scorpion tail, right heel towards left glute. If the right armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you square it off towards your mat? Grounding down into this left palm and then finding your flip dog if that's in your practice. Reaching for something you desire with the right palm, maybe giving me a little wave. Right palm comes down to the earth, slow and controlled. Right foot comes high to the sky, three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. Three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow. If EPK is in your practice and you'd like to play, go ahead and fly. And then coming back to three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky. Right knee to left elbow, cross body hold. We're sliding that right foot down to the earth and then lifting the left palm up, finding that wild thing or fallen triangle. In this wild thing, can you push the earth away from you with the right palm, finding expansion in your breath? And then exhale, left palm comes down to meet the right. Zero to five, Chaturanga crossbody push-ups. You got this, yogis. If you're here for that physical practice, tuck the elbows into the ribs and lower down. Finding strength in these micro movements, maybe you skip it entirely and meet in a three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the right foot in between the palms. We're making sure that our ankle is above the toe here, and then rising all the way up, finding crescent warrior. So crescent warrior, both toes are pivoted towards the front of the room. We're creating a right angle with this right knee. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, we're dropping the left knee to the earth. And then inhale, squeezing that pelvic floor and center line, straightening in both legs. 
Exhale, left knee comes down to the earth. One more time, you got this, Yogi. Squeeze that pelvic floor. Exhale, coming back to neutral. Bringing both pinkies behind us to slightly touch, sending the chest and chin forward, finding Turbo Crescent. In this Turbo Crescent, maybe you stay here. Maybe you challenge yourself here, activating in this left, right foot, and then launching off, finding Warrior Three Pose. Option to bring the palms into heart center, dorsiflexing in this left foot. We have a slight bend in this right knee to find a stronger foundation. Keeping an up dog quality in your chest, maybe you reach those arms forward. Maybe you reach them towards the side, finding an airplane arm pose. Airplane arm pose, what is that? Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, plant both palms to the earth, standing split left leg high to the sky. Taking one big inhale here. Exhale, left foot comes to meet the right. Grab opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. Emptying out here. Finding a decompression in the neck and spine, generously bending in both knees to invite the chest to kiss the thighs. Grabbing opposite elbows here, squeezing tight, and then finding a slight inner rotation of the toes, a slight gap in between the heels. Taking one breath here, inhale, fill up. Exhale, stick that tongue out, let that shit go. Ha! One more time, inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, stick that tongue out, let that shit go. Ha! On the next inhale, bending at the knees, keeping the bind, grabbing opposite elbows, finding Utkatasana chair pose with the bind. Can you push the earth away from you, grounding down into those feet as if you're trying to rip your mat in two, activate those outer glutes. You got this, yogis. We're here for one more breath. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, coming all the way down, finding Malasana Yogi Squat. So in this Malasana Yogi Squat, eventually we love our toes to face the front. But if that's not an option for you, go ahead and open up the feet to first position. Sending the elbows into the thighs and then lifting the chest high to the sky. Slightly tucking the chin in towards the chest, taking one big inhale here. Exhale, release. Control the breath, control the mind. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, left palm comes down to the earth. Right palm lifts high to the sky, finding a twist in this Malasana squat. Maybe you reach behind you, finding a bind, lifting the chest even higher. One more breath here. Exhale, coming back through center. Right palm comes down to the earth, and then left palm lifts, finding a twist in the Smolasana Yogi Squat. Exhale, coming back through center. Your option to fly into Crow Pose here, bringing both palms onto the earth, creating a number 11 with our index fingers. Bringing all the weight onto our toes, and then sending the knees to tuck into the armpits. Creating a shelf with our forearm and tricep. Maybe one foot lifts off the earth today. Making sure the gaze is to a top point of that triangle. Maybe another foot lifts off. Squeeze that center line in, gaze as high. Maybe no feet lift off the earth today and that's okay. And then when you're ready, jumping back or either choosing your journey to your vinyasa. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Big toes come together to touch. Chest comes down to the earth. Taking this time to settle into your breath. And then walking the palms high, bringing the palms into heart center. Feeling your capable, amazing beating heart here. Taking a moment of gratitude for your body for your breath, and for this moment. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, fear, exhale, doubt. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. 
taking a moment to come back to this intention and then bringing the palms down to the earth, finding your downward facing dog. We have one more side before we start to slow the heart rate down. Can you give this left side your all? Can you test your strength, mental and physical? Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. Choose to commit fully to this left side, bringing both feet together to touch. And then inhale, left leg lifts high to the sky, three legged dog. Drawing circles with this left knee clockwise, and then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, left foot high to the sky, sending the left heel towards the right glute, scorpion tailing the heel. If the left shoulder lifts and reaches for the ceiling, can you square it off towards your hip? Towards your mat, grounding down evenly into both palms. And then grounding down into this right palm, maybe finding that flip dog, reaching for something you desire with this left palm, always having the option to come into full wheel if that's in your practice. Just a little tiny wave and then slow and control, left palm to the earth, left foot lifts high in the sky. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow, option to find that EPK flying splits. And then coming back, three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow, cross body hold. We're sliding that left foot down, lifting the right palm high, finding your wild thing. Can you push down into this left palm and lift the chest a little bit higher, finding expansion in your breath? Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, right palm comes down to the earth, tucking the elbows into the ribs, zero to five, chaturanga push-ups. You got this, yogis. Test your strength. Maybe you do one today. Maybe you do none, and that's okay. Coming back into a three-legged dog, left leg high in the sky. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. We're almost to our active resting pose. Making sure the left heel is above the toes, and then rising up, finding that crescent warrior. Using this active resting pose to find that breath. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Control the breath, control the mind. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. Bringing both palms into heart center here. And then finding an outer rotation, lifting them all the way back up. Inhale, straightening in both legs. Exhale, right knee comes towards the earth. And then squeezing that center line in, we're straightening in both legs. Exhale, right knee to the earth. Rising up. Last one, right knee to the earth. And then inhale, finding that neutral crescent warrior. Bringing the pinkies behind us and sending the chest and chin down, finding turbo crescent. Slow and controlled, using the strength of your entire body, can you ground down into this left foot? Finding warrior three pose. Maybe bringing the palms into heart center here. Maybe choosing a bind to find behind you. Can you dorsiflex in this right fin and slight bend in this left knee to find your stronger foundation? Maybe your palms come out to lift in front of you. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, palms come down to the earth, standing split, right leg high to the sky. You got this, yogi's right foot comes to opposite foot. And then grab opposite elbows, finding your ragdoll pose. <sighs> Seeing if you can switch the grips from elbows. And then finding that bind, letting the head hang heavy. Inviting the chest to kiss the thighs, slight bend in both knees, rocking back and forth, finding that decompression. And then inhale, our final bit of power, rising all the way up, Utkatasana chair pose with the bind. Just like life yogis, when things get tough, we stay up. Can you ground down into those feet as if you're trying to rip your mat in two, gaze as high to the sky, slightly tuck the tailbone in. We're here for one big expansive breath. You got this. Exhale, coming all the way down, the loss in the squat. In this velocity squat, we start to rock back and forth on the heel. 
and then sending the elbows into the chest, sending the crown of the head hot. Left palm comes down to the earth, right palm lifts. Maybe finding a full bind here if that's in your practice. Exhale, coming back through center. Sending the elbows towards the thighs, lifting high to the sky. Exhale, right palm comes down to the earth. Left palm lifts high to the sky. Choosing to find a full bind if that's in your practice. If not, can you send the gaze towards the left shoulder as we did in the beginning of class? Inhale through center. Our last chance to find that crow pose here planting both palms into the earth, and then maybe trying one more time. So maybe if crow pose is not in your practice, you just play with distributing the weight from toe to heel. So you don't even have to come off the earth if you don't feel like it, bringing the knees into the elbows and then pushing the earth away from you. Little mini yogi drills here, knee to armpit. Exhale, push the earth. If you're in that crow pose, find your journey back to your vinyasa. Jump back, step back, hop back, or maybe you skip your vinyasa all together. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ha! Taking one big inhale here, fill the belly. Exhale, release. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Don't worry, guys, we're just setting up for pigeon, I promise. And then exhale, right knee towards right wrist. Right foot comes towards left wrist. We're squaring off our hip for our pigeon pose. So the important thing is here that we square off our hip versus keeping the shin parallel to the earth. Inhale, lift the chest high to the sky. Exhale, sleeping pigeon, sending your chest towards the earth. Sending your chin to slightly tuck in towards the chest. Seeing if you can actively let something go in this pigeon pose. We hold a lot of emotion in our hips. Can we release here, finding the comfortability in the uncomfortability of this pose? Inhale, walking the palms, lifting the chest, and then exhale, planting the palms, finding any move here that feels good to that right hip. So maybe move in an opposite direction, and then coming back to your downward facing dog. Setting up for pigeon on the opposite side, left foot lifts high to the sky, and then left knee comes in towards left wrist. Left foot comes towards right wrist. We're finding that pigeon pose. Option to take pigeon on your back if you'd like. For squaring off the hips and then sending the chest high. Exhale, releasing towards the earth. Inhale, walking the palms towards the body. And then seeing if you can sink a little bit deeper. Maybe you bring your palms out to the side in your pigeon pose. Maybe you invite some change into your practice somehow. Can you inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, let go of something that no longer serves you. Inhale, walking the palms close to the body and then finding downward facing dog. Taking whatever movement in this left hip that feels good. Bringing both feet to the back of the mat. And then slow and controlled, we're tiptoeing all the way towards our wrists. We're in a forward fold here, bending generously into both knees and then sending our glutes towards the earth. Coming full circle into our practice, creating that L shape with our body. Being so active in our legs here, that our heels should lift off the earth, dorsiflexing in those fins, sending the toes towards the shin. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, Paschimottanasana, forward fold, sending the heart towards the thigh. So here I want you to think chest to thigh versus nose to knee, because we want to keep an up dog quality in the chest, finding the integrity of that flat back in your spine. 
So maybe that looks like this today. <laughs> and this is just as good. Maybe you reach forward. Taking one more inhale here. And then exhale, starting to melt down, shoulder blades towards the earth for our final resting pose. Maybe you take that imaginary beach ball out in front of you, our little bit of core before we sink all the way down. And then when you're ready, moving any blocks, any water bottles, any unnecessary thoughts out of the way, taking up as much space as you need, finding that final resting pose. Taking one big inhale here, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. Shavasana. Finding relaxation from the crown of your head down to the breaths. Full body scan towards the nose. And the lips. Can you relax the shoulder blades, the palms, the ribs, the low back, relaxing in the hips? Finding relaxation melting down towards the knee, the calves and shins towards the toes. Starting to blink the eyes open here and bringing awareness back to your body. Wiggling the fingers and then wiggling the toes. Sending both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze Thanking yourself for showing up on your mats today for self-love and self-care. Choosing either the right side or the left side to fall onto a fetal position using your bicep as a pillow. Humans are imperfect creatures. You don't succeed because you have zero weaknesses. You succeed because you find your unique strength and focus on forming habits around them. Grounding both palms into the earth and then rising to a seated position facing any which way you desire. Bringing both palms together, all this beautiful energy we created as a community and then down to heart center. The perfectly imperfect student in me bows, honors, and respects the teachers and all of you. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Namaste.